All right, so the parry in Dark Souls and Elden Ring, how realistic is it exactly? Bruh. Right. Well, yeah, uh, casually swiping aside a boat-sized weapon swung by a monster the size of a house is game shenanigans, of course, fantasy and all that. So first off, we have to keep in mind a few things about animation conventions. Basically, like there are certain things like anticipatory movements and extra follow through so that it's easier to see what's going on. The way it's done in the Dark Souls series, the buckler is raised and then it's thrown out. On closer look, that might be specific to this particular buckler. Other parry animations in the Dark Souls series look more horizontal. In Elden Ring, it's sweeping across horizontally like this. Does that work in and of itself? Yes. So let's see what happens against a diagonal downward cut. Dark Souls parry works perfectly. Uh, Elden Ring parry also works. Now here's a problem with the, well, basically both of them. If he responds to what I'm doing, which an opponent would normally do, and he faints and I do this, then he may minimize the contact with the shield or buckler. But what the opponent can also do is simply stop and boom. Now the arm is wide open because this is, this is exposing yourself a lot. If I see this, I have an opening here immediately. The more efficient way to do it is simply this. Just a little bit because this opens him up enough for me to counter. The easiest is to simply counter to his hand or arm or I can also step in and cut at the same time. The advantage of this is if this misses or if he works around it, like if he stops and, and adjusts, this is still in front of me. So it's not over here, but it's still got a bit of a sweep going on. And as soon as I have this, he's in trouble. It's still sweeping to actually deflect it and break what he's doing, but it's just more retracted. It's just a tighter movement. Um, another option, boom, if I want to do it this way, and I'm even covering my hand with the buckler. By the way, this works the same way with a strap shield as opposed to a center grip shield. Boom. What if they cut from the other side? It's not really relevant for in-game mechanics, but what if? Would you do it like this? Well, cut from the other side. Now it's no longer a deflection because now it's essentially a static block. In order to do this, I would have to really aggressively step into it like this. Now I've broken a structure. If it comes from the other side, I would rather use a sword. So he cuts from the other side. Boom, broken hand right there. Would make more sense. Again, it's not really against giant monsters, but would you want to fight giant monsters with a handheld weapon? A dinky sword? Nah, bring out the artillery or something. Handheld cannons. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Animations have certain requirements. Or a little bit. Your phone's going off. Great. <laughs> Why though? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So let's restart again because it's so much fun. <laughs> okay. Just bite your shield, it'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so the parry in. I'm gonna parry the cars, that's what I gotta do. Yes. <laughs> Why am I not wearing my forearm guards? <laughs> Let me redo. The okay. whole thing. Otherwise, it's just going to bother me how in, in the beginning I don't have I don't have stuff and then I have it. Like, it doesn't matter, but it's going to bother me. It's just like.